The leeks are one of the first things in spring that you'll see green out in the, in the bush. Um, they start to pop out. You'll notice the leaves coming out of the, uh, the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna go at the base of this tree because there's some very nice um, mature leeks or ramps as they're also called. Push, pull the leaves back a little bit and push down until you start to see the white of the bulb. This one is absolutely perfect. So this is a prime example of a nice mature leaf that we're looking for. So nice thick stem, very wide leaves, which we, uh, we may use in a solid. You want the leaf to be about two inches wide. And also I don't pull the bulb out because if you pull the bulb out, um, it won't grow back. If you leave the bulb, it has an opportunity to grow back the next year. I also look for a, a darker red color on, on the stem when it starts to go into the leaf. So this leaf is probably three or four years old actually. And you can eat them raw, just like this. It's, it's very sweet. Um, it's not too pungent. It's not too in your face like you would if you ate a raw onion. So it's, an, it's a nice uh, green to put in with lettuce because it gives it a totally different flavor than just plain lettuce. Um, the stem we might cut off here. And this can be pickled. We serve it in a, a Caesar drink uh, where we cut, we cut it up like a scallion and use it in some of our dishes on the menu. The ramps, there's, there's one species of them that I can find from my limited research on the internet. So, I mean, they're native to Central North America. And there is even a ban on picking wild leeks in a couple states and uh, in Quebec for a while because they were listed as endangered. And that leads back to the sustainability of the leeks and why it's so important that we just tread lightly and and we, we, don't cut the, we don't cut into the bulb, we keep them. So they keep growing back year after year.